Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. We have a blackout in our area, and that's why our videos are not very clear. Nonetheless, I want us to have a look at a very interesting story that has been making headlines today. Gen Z's held countywide protests today, protests that were largely very successful. And the protest went on to confirm that Kenyans are not buying into William Ruto's threats and intimidations. A few days ago, William Ruto speaking in Bomet said enough is enough. So he wanted to intimidate Kenyans, Gen Z's not to turn out for the demonstrations. But from what we saw today, Gen Z's have refused to buy into the threats and intimidations. Across the country, they were all out on the streets demanding Ruto must go. Congratulations to our brave young men and women. We also saw goons being unleashed on Gen Z's. And I'm being told in several parts of the country, Gen Z's and Kenyans ganged up against the goons and they were dealt with thoroughly. Here in Nairobi, a goon who was caught trying to loot actually had to beg for mercy. And some were also not lucky as they were lynched. Standard Digital, police officers dispersed protesters who had set ablaze a motorbike used by people who were seen stealing along Kenyatta Avenue in Nairobi during the anti-government protests. That happened in Nairobi, Kenyatta Avenue. Some goons on motorbike attempted to loot. They were dealt with. Some, I don't think, they are breathing. And we know who sponsored the goons who were on motorbikes. They were sponsored by none other than Ndungu, a Kenya Kwanzaa staunch defender. Gen Z's were not in motorcycles. They were on foot. The sponsored goons were on motorbikes, though they were dealt with thoroughly. Let's listen to one of the goons who was pleading for mercy. Have a look at this. <laughs> That was a cornered goon pleading for mercy. His life was at risk. It never stopped there. Some police officers were also forced to apologize for having tear gas some Kenyans who are peacefully demonstrating. Have a look at this again. <laughs> Nairobi police boss Bungei was also forced to be friendly to the Gen Z protesters. You are seeing him there trying to mingle as he loves with the Gen Z's protesters. And that was a strategy which I'm going to explain as we continue. In case you're watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe give the video a like let's proceed if you look at all those it's very clear that a people united can never be defeated 
if Kenyans can speak one language, then William Ruto's threats, intimidations, will not deter them from achieving what they've intended to achieve. Power belongs to the people, and William Ruto, he's just the president because Kenyans have allowed him to be the president. If Kenyans today decide that they don't want him, William Ruto will go. So a people united can never be defeated. Kenyans have refused to buy William Ruto's intimidations. That's why they turned out in their thousands in spite of all the threats and all the risks coming from the government. That should send a very strong message to Ruto that Kenyans are not joking. Kenyans are serious. They want to see some serious changes in his government. The entire government as currently constituted is corrupt. Let William Ruto release all these corrupt government officials. Let him start afresh. If he cannot do that, then the best thing he can do is just to resign. He should not sit pretty at State House thinking that this protest will just die down. The protests are not ending anytime soon. Kenyans are determined. The politicians have misused them for so many years. This is a defining moment in the history of our nation. If William Ruto and his team have not yet realized that, they will be in for a very rude shock. This is a very unique moment in our country. It requires wisdom. Also, from what I did observe, it's almost certain and very clear that goons cannot stop Kenyans from demanding what they want. You can unleash goons on Kenyans, but the goons cannot overpower the people. For those who are in the CBD, they can attest to that. 200 or 300 goons cannot stop thousands of people. And that's a lesson the goons and their sponsors should know. You can sponsor goons maybe to a limited number of people, but you can't sponsor them to counter thousands of people. And that's why it's important. Anytime Gen Z's announce they are going out on the streets, let them come in large numbers. Their strength and security lies in their large numbers. If there are a few, then the goons can take advantage of that to harm them. If there are many, the goons are now the ones whose lives are in danger. So it's important. As Gen Z takes to the streets, they should be coming out in large numbers. And to the issue of the police officers apologizing, and we are also seeing the Nairobi police boss trying to pretend to be friendly, that shows they have already seen the power of Gen Z's. They must be friendly to Gen Z's. Failure to which the fate that befell the cabinet secretaries can also befall them. I'm seeing a Bungay who already knows that if he continues being hostile to these Gen Z's, then they'll actually intensify their demands for Bungay to quit. So Bungay is just trying to befriend them. Mm. He knows their power. And also, if you look at the apologizing police officers, it also proves that maybe not all police officers are happy of what the government is doing. They are Kenyans, and they are also just suffering the way other Kenyans are suffering. So they are just trying to also empathize with the people, but indirectly. In other words, they are supporting them, but they cannot just come out to show that open support. I believe that's why they apologized. They know the people are doing the right thing. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya, 
drop a comment let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from if possible subscribe give the video a like the gun was asking for mercy should send a warning to other goons that the politician will use you but eventually you will be left alone to deal with angry millions of Kenyans. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.